driving around the triangle at night or in the early morning hours, and chances are you're driving in the dark. And you can see this right here uh, from this live look at the belt line. In fact, on my drive home now, there's very few lights out there, too. Drivers have complained to us how dark some stretches of local highways are. Tonight, CBS 17's Joseph Holloway is getting answers from the state. Tiffany Johnston has been a rideshare driver for two and a half years, and she says a lot of her time on the road is during the early morning hours. Can't even see the turns because the roads are pitch black. She's one of the many people I've spoken with who say they want to see better lighting on interstate highways right here in the Triangle. There are stretches where you won't see a single light for miles. I have bump my car just because you don't even see how the road cuts off and you hit into like an embankment almost. I took those concerns here to NCDOT who says that lighting is usually only done when they're fixing or expanding roads and the department goes through a process to determine if lighting is needed. What have you guys been doing to make improvements on any of that? We have a method that we use. Um, it's a recognized um, evaluation process. She put in all these factors, geometric factors, environmental factors, energy costs, construction costs. DOT's lighting and electrical team lead, Greg Hall, says because of that process, they're adding more lights on I-40 as part of the widening project they're working on right now. But other areas, like most of the Beltline and I-540, will have to wait. The problem that we have for the remainder of 440 and for the northern portion of 540 is that those projects are complete and Lighting is generally installed as part of a roadway project. The department's largest lighting project in recent years was in 2017 when the state spent nearly $32 million on LED light fixtures. Crews wrapped up that project nearly two years ago, but I noticed several lights that aren't working. Hall says there's a 10 year warranty on those lights, so if one goes out, the company that provided the lights will replace them. But if it's an infrastructure problem, such as a lightning strike or damaged wires, the state has to pay for it. If it's one of the fixtures that are mounted on a median barrier, to set up the lane closures for that type of replacement are expensive. Tiffany says she's eager to see improvements made and believes it'll make the drive safer for her and her rideshare customers. I don't want to get hurt, but I definitely don't want to hurt nobody that's in my car. Hall says the state is fixing what they can, but they're trying to be strategic in making those repairs. In Raleigh, Joseph Holloway, CBS 17 News.